Hi everyone. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create a flashcard set or a study set using the website Quizlet. So the first step is to go to quizlet.com and log in. And it may be easiest to just log in with your school's Google account, but of course you can make a, an account however you best see fit. Uh, when you log in, the first thing you'll see is the latest activity, which shows any study sets or flashcard sets that you've used. You can also access your study sets from the left-hand side. To create a new study set or set of flashcards in Quizlet, you want to click on Create at the top of the page. First thing you want to do is title your set, and it gives you some ideas on how you can title it. And then it's a matter of typing in the terms on the left and the definition on the right. You have the ability to bring in some pictures for the definition. However, in the free version of Quizlet, the pictures are fairly limited. In order to upload your own image, you have to have the paid version of Quizlet. Alternatively, if you have a list of your vocabulary words in your definition, right here you can import from a text file. And you can set up whether there's a tab separating the term and the definition or a comma. And again, it gives you a little preview of what that should look like up here and how to differentiate new between cards, whether it's a new line, a semicolon, whatever the case may be. But that would allow you to copy and paste into this space and import that list without having to copy and paste each individual uh, item. So when you're all set, you can click on create either at the top or at the bottom and you'll have a list. Now, what can you do with a Quizlet flashcard study set? Well, let's take a look at one I already have here in cartoon characters. Uh, from this one list that I've made with a bunch of different items in it, the character and their catchphrase, if you will, um, Quizlet creates all of these activities based on that set. So flashcard is just your traditional flashcard set where you can click to flip it. What's really nice about this in terms of uh, languages is you can click on it and it will read it to you. This cat's favorite food is lasagna. So that's really nice, like we said, in a world language environment where you can work on pronunciation. You do have the ability to record your own voice with the upgrade to the Quizlet free version. I'm sorry, to the premium version. We have found with the free version of Quizlet, the pronunciation is pretty solid. Learn is the second activity. This is where it just gives you a definition and then you type the term. So it's pretty good for recall and spelling. Spelling is just what it sounds like. Uh, it's a spelling test. It says the term, gives the user the definition, and then they type in the term. Test is of what you would expect with a paper-based test where you write in the definition or the term, depending on how it's set up. Uh, these are all considered study activities, but certainly these could be used, the play could be used as study as well. Uh, match is where they're gonna have tabs, if you will, or tiles on the screen of the term and its definition, and the user clicks and drags the, t the definition and the term to match them up, and it's a timed event. So it's kind of fun for the students to compete against each other. Gravity is more like a video game where the definition will fall from the top of the screen, and the user has to type the term in the bottom before it reaches the bottom. So it's kind of video game-esque. Live, we'll get to that all later. But how do you share this set with your students? Well, once you click into a set like we have here, again, if you're looking at the Quizlet homepage, you can click on my study sets or your study sets, go and find the one that you want. And here we're in our uh, study set. To share it with your students, click on the little arrow that says share. We affectionately call it the share -o, And that's gonna bring up this little page with a link here that I can either highlight and copy or I can simply click copy link. You can paste that into wherever you're going to send it to your students, whether it's your learning management system, an email, Twitter. You can share with Google Classroom if you're using that, that's fine. But just to show you in Schoology the way we would do this is since again, I've copied the link and I wanna share that link with my students. I'm gonna to go to my course, click on add materials, select the link option, again, select link, I'm gonna paste that link in here and maybe I'll title it uh, Unit 2 Study Set. And I can add it. And once it finishes loading, there's the set for my students. Now, what does that look like to the students? Well, again, if I copy this link and if we go look at it from a student perspective, when they go to that link, they'll have the ability to play flashcards, learn, spell, test, match, and gravity. They can go through and pick whichever task they want. So this is a nice tool for differentiation. 
But one of the reasons that we absolutely love Quizlet is from that one set that you wrote, you have the ability to access all these different assessments and activities. So there you go. That's how to create a sample or a study set in Quizlet and share it out with your students. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and thank you for watching.